Hi guys, if you at the moment feel hot, please do not orbiting my space. Just joking. Oh, I came up with another ideas. Okay, I mentioned before about uh, IPL laser and melanin thing. I was thinking um, melanin is triggered by the temperature as well and I'm thinking people with uh, dark spots on their foreheads like especially when the hormones they say oh hormonal the, you you just deliver the baby and hormonals are not in balance I think I think that when you're hormonal, when you're pregnant, like it's happening um, usually around eight to ninth month of pregnancy, you're in a heat, in balance hormones and everything. And I think, pay attention, ladies, when the things are happening. And I will give you one little um, idea. Maybe you can use him. When you're in a um, hormonal disbalance, you are inside really hot. Because you have a baby, baby, uh, you know, uh, their um, uh, blood circulation and you're raising the temperature. So when it's uh, above certain temperature, the melanin, it starts to showing um, for a pregnant, pregnant woman. So that means when you're turning maybe around seven, eight months and you feel heat, I think... Find some type of mask and cool your face with a uh, ice or something so the eyes won't trigger your um, melanin to produce more. Melanin is not produced more when it's a cold weather, only when it's a hot. Why? Because even sauna, whatever is making your body a little bit higher fever temperature sauna uh, sun tanning um sometimes you have a cold sore that means that you had a fever because your immune system fighting something so as soon as it is uh, raised a little bit of fever than normal you can ex expect um changes in your skin and especially melanin so if you want to have a clear skin you should do this don't uh, listen to me i'm just thinking normally apply apply a sunscreen but sunscreen i think with the zinc when it's a white not, not like those sprays because sometimes i'm thinking when it's a oil or you know when you're spraying and it's a clear a sunscreen that's like a type of oil and um absorb sun more more because you know when it's a hot oil you know it's raising the the, the temperature so the zinc is better to apply it protecting be because of course zinc and plus um um uv uh, rays are bouncing back from white color and it's a thicker and it's better plus maybe it's good to put whenever if you want to protect yourself uh, if it's a person like myself i always wear um, um, sunscreen i'm wearing a hat sunglasses and gloves so if you like to be in the sun but at the same time you don't want those dark spots the best thing is to maybe apply something cold in your face so it won't um, trigger your melanin to say hey it's alert it's hot we have to produce melanin no when it's a cold and you're on the sun i believe don't take me guys seriously i'm not a doctor but i was thinking what triggered those things irregular but not um irregular temperature your your body temperature if it's raising on the hormone side or whatever it will trigger your melanin so when you're pregnant 
cool your face down do not go as i said to sauna do not go on as hot things because as soon as something hot your melanin is triggered doesn't matter if it's a uv ray because when i went to a laser treatment i wasn't on the sun but the uh, the temperature of a laser not the light the heat which laser produced the heat melanin and normally targeting the dark uh, hair but also around the dark hair it's targeting your skin as well so ladies if you want to have a clear face and hands because those things are so exposed of course moisturize on a daily basis especially if you're getting older what i do all my life like i always even when I was 40s, I brought the cream for those in 70s. Those gold packages, which is for mature skin. Oh, I'm thinking if they have a def deficit on that stuff, let's start from now to protect that deficit. So buy old, old um, for old skin um, creams, protect your skin, you know, put a something when you're pregnant maybe and you feel hate put a little bit of cold cloth or a little bit of packet there's a, some type of thing like um you can even make uh with a ziploc put in a ziploc water flat it a little bit and just dab your your skin so it won't trigger the melanin and produce um melancholicides produced to melanin give a, uh, information hey you have to protect you have to protect so so that's what i'm saying watch your um temperature body temperature not to raise for some reason and protect yourself and use when you're washing your your, your face always splash your face with the cold water so it will tighten your skin and it will won't raise the the you know the the fever or something on your especially rubbing your your people are really uh, wrong with rubbing exfoliating the skin even they said oh you have a um you know dark spots let's go to to say some glycolic acid or whatever acid for a face you know that things irritates your skin makes fever under the skin and trigger melanin to protect your skin so don't be uh, harsh on your skin just everything gentle everything gentle even when you when you're washing your face gentle not rub 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 because friction tells your sensors inside from epiderm to derm that something is irritating i need to protect so everything nicely washing wash your hands first you know and you won't have a um, dark spots now right now i'm working how to find black or dark light which might trigger uh, to kill the, you know to get rid of the hair so and at the same time to be cold light if you have any idea about how to get cold light and dark let me know i'm thinking about um doing maybe some laser with a cold dark light thinking about what's going on with um the dark matter particles what is that i'm on 